Now I know everyone knows how to wash clothes, but the devil is in the details here. Here are some tips to ensure the longevity of your clothes. Let's start by dispelling a myth. The freezer is not an effective sterilizing method. So for you raw denim fanatics, unzip those freezer bags. Next, let's address those yellow pit stains. Sadly, there's no easy way to remove them, so the best thing we can do is prevent them altogether. Using a deodorant without aluminum will stop pit stains at the source. For the wash process itself, start by separating your laundry into two piles, darks and lights. Keeping colors separate will prevent color dyes from transferring and staining lighter clothes. While separating your clothes, unfasten buttons on any piece of clothing with buttons. This will prevent buttons from prematurely falling off and deformed button slits. Set your washer to the coldest possible water setting. The lower temperature will protect color dyes and reduce shrinking. Next, set the washer to the least aggressive wash cycle, usually the delicates or hand wash setting. Finally, for the soil level, set it to light, as this will use the least amount of water. For detergent, I like to use one with no harsh chemicals. My favorite detergent is the Myers detergent, as it contains naturally derived ingredients and no phosphates. I usually use one capful of detergent per a load of laundry. Add the detergent, then start the wash. After the wash cycle has completed, it is time to dry the clothes. I avoid the dryer like the plague, opting for a drying rack instead. The drying rack is a little less convenient as it takes more time to dry clothes, but it will not shrink or prematurely fade clothing. To help clothes dry as quickly as possible, damp clothes should be hung with enough space for air to circulate around them. Don't overcrowd the rack and your clothes should dry within 24 hours. For clothes that do require dry cleaning, only bring them to the dry cleaner if they are heavily soiled. Dry cleaning is a very harsh process and will significantly decrease the life of your clothing. Here are two simple steps to help reduce the amount of visits to the dry cleaner. First, try to give your clothes 24 hours between each wear. This will allow them to dry out properly. Less moisture means less odor and less bacteria. Second, to refresh garments that are starting to smell a little stale, I like to apply a deodorizer spray like this one from the laundress. This deodorizer spray is great because it's safe on all materials and has antibacterial properties to further help control odors. For storing clothes, we have two options. We can either hang or fold our clothes. I like to hang clothes with collars to keep them wrinkle-free and ready for work. Then, for heavier items like coats, I like to use a coat-specific hanger to prevent shoulders from deforming. For the rest of my wardrobe, I'm a big fan of the Konamari storage method, as it stores clothes in an aesthetically pleasing manner, and best of all, it has an easy folding technique. To fold shirts, take each side of the shirt and fold it into the center. Then, take any excess sleeve length and lay it along the fold you just made. Now, take the bottom of the shirt and fold it about 3 fourths of the way up. Finally, fold the shirt into thirds. To know if you've done it right, the shirt should be able to stand on their own like this. Folding pants uses the same method. Simply fold pants in half along the crotch then take the pant hem three-fourths of the way up. Then finally again, fold into thirds. These should also be able to stand up on their own if done correctly. This folding method works because it distributes the mass of the clothes evenly, allowing clothes to be stored neatly and uniformly. As you can see, with a little time and effort, you can create a well-organized drawer of clothes. In an era where things are easily disposed of, taking the time to preserve your clothes will create a more sustainable wardrobe and ensure that your favorite t-shirt is with you whenever you need it. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.